Hello queens and kings, my name is Tandega Shabangu. Welcome to my channel. If it's your first time here, welcome, welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you for coming back. Today we're on day five. Today is quite exciting because we're starting to introduce new lines and we're covering up our diamond. So we're really, really making a huge progress. Another thing, today is a Friday. This is going to be the last post for the week. We need to take a break. Hi, Bo. Uh, I'll post again on Monday. Hopefully, I'm scared of promising because I think my Sunday might be hectic. But Monday. To take a break for the weekend, to catch up if you haven't catched up and watch all the videos so that it won't be overwhelming. Yeah, Bo. And to also rest. To do all the things that are necessary. <laughs> okay. Let's get started. So this is where we currently are with our pattern. You see, we introduced the line. We introduced the line. Today will be quite magical. We'll see how we go from a line, from a dot to a line. We're going to turn a dot into a line. <laughs> okay. So you know the drill for the corner. Four beads and how you come up with those four beads is yellow black and two green take our needle insert it into the central bead insert it into the central bead and then we pull Okay, let me grab the sample that we have and let me remove this just a bit. So, as you can see the lines, let me, let, me, let me put it like this. As you can see the lines, if they're going that way, they'll continue to go that way all the way for the pattern. If they're going down, they'll continue to go down all the way for the pattern. So, looking at these lines they're going into an almost downwards direction so how do we ensure that the line is going on a downward direction we're going to pick up one black bead and two red beads one black bead and two red beads Take our needle, insert it into the central bead, and then we pull. Can you see the direction? It's starting to change. So, again, we introduce a color, a color for our line. So, how to introduce a color? We pick up one black, one color, and one black. So you start with a dot and from your dot you move on and change it to make it a line. You take your needle, you insert it into the central bead and then you pull. So now you are into your diamond, which means you're going to be picking up three white beads. So here's our first three white bead. You take it, you insert it into the central bead, and then you pull. So from here, let me put it like this because that's how we have been working all the time. Now. So we're going to continue moving up until we get to this point. Continue the three white beads up until we get to this point, until we meet again until we meet again oh we'll be back we meet again at this point so we're going to pick up three white beads because we have to complete our diamond nicely remember before when we got to this point usually we would ex expand our diamond but that's not the case because now 
we're trying to bring the diamond into the center so we can't so we can't expand the diamonds to the sides so the same with these lines they're going towards an upward direction so we can't pick up one black and two yellow because if we do that let me show you practically if we do that the line for our yellow will face downward instead of upwards and you see so the yellow is facing down and that's not what should be happening the yellow should be facing up so what we do now because we can't continue with our yellow we only can able to continue with our yellow until we get to this point what we do now is to introduce a new color how do we do that one black one color and one black i'm still removing the two yellow how do you do that you pick up one black you pick up one color i think i'm gonna go with red again and one black so instead of continuing with the yellow you introduce a new color to make sure that your lines are facing the right direction so now we're at this point that means we can now finally do a two yellow one black two yellow one black for the direction the direction is the one that predicts whether you continue with your yellow or you do what so looking at the direction you see the lines for our yellow is still facing in the right direction so when you get to the corner you know the drill i'll be back i'm thinking of rejoining of changing my thread I, I i enjoy changing my thread at the corners so if i turn without changing it i might be forced to changing it midway so i'm changing my thread getting myself a longer one getting an upgrade so currently at this point and let me flip <laughs> like I usually do and I'm at the corner and at the corner I pick up my four beads I take my needle I insert it into the central bead and then I pull Then I pull nicely. Yes. So now we're at this point. Let me fix the lighting. There we go. So now at this point, and remember that our red has to go into that direction. How do we do that? We pick up one black and two red beads. One black and two red beads beads by doing that we take our needle insert it into the red I almost hit the red button the red bead and nicely like this dun 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 and then we add this point we can't expand our diamond because remember our aim is to make sure that our diamond becomes smaller and smaller at this point. So what do we do? We introduce a new color. How do we do that? One black, one color and one black. You take your needle, you insert it into the central bead. The central beads are the ones that are always sticking out. Insert it here and then you pull. 
So you're back to the diamond. When you're at this point, you're going to pick up your white, your three white beads all the way. This is my first three white bead, just to make sure. I take my needle and I insert it into the central bead like this, and then I pull. Then I pull, oops. There's strings crossing in every direction. <laughs> Okay, so it's like this. So I'm going to continue and keep on all the way until I get to this point. Continuing with my three white beads. So I moved all the way until here. Our pattern is really coming together. I'm really excited. You know my biggest fear when I do a diamond is a skew diamond that is my biggest fear every time when i do a diamond pattern i always do <laughs> i always make a mini prayer and because i don't want my diamond to be like this like this you see it has to be nice like you know those skew diamonds they're like this, yes, and like this. <laughs> I'm scared. Every time, every time when I do a diamond pattern, I'm like, you, please. Please, please, please. So, we're at this point. Our lines have to move in that direction. If we had to do one black and two yellow, our lines won't be doing the right thing so instead what do we do we introduce a new color so it's going to be one black one color and one black i've decided on yellow yellow mellow i take my needle and i insert it into the central bead and then i pull So when you get to this point, that's when you can continue with your blue color. How do you do that? You pick up two blue beads and one black. You have to always make sure that the lines are facing the right direction. That's all. And continue with your diamond and make sure it's not skewed. This one, so far, so good. It doesn't look like the skew type. <laughs> it's like with driving. My biggest fear with driving is a rolling car. Yo, 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 yo. Every time when I drive and I'm in a sort of like an incline, a steep, and there's a robot there and, the, and the, I have to stop the car there, I always have a fear that the car will slowly move backwards yo and that time there's another car behind me and i'm gonna bump that car <laughs> driving is but driving is nice you know but when you when you're learning it's it's very yo it gets very frustrating but luckily yeah i did good with my license you know what it's so funny for me for me my experience was different so at this point you pick up four beads so one green one black and two red beads let me do this with the lighting Yes, it's nice. Let me flip. Let me just flip and start from my right to my left. These are my four beads. So, with my, with most 
of people of the people is that no is that right english most of the people that uh do their driver's license in south africa i want to be strictly specific the testing the the test the writing your learners is the easiest part for them people do their learners it even expires and then they even go and write another the learners and then they pass it pass it the same time and then they go for the learners the then they sit with their learners they drive with their learners their learners expires then they go back and write again and then they pass it ha uh, for me ask me ask me my experience with my learners i it was it was the pits you it was the pits it took me i passed my learners on my fifth attempt you heard me right on my fifth attempt it took me almost 2 years cuz the first year 2018 I was writing. I wrote two times. I was like, I, okay. I, I'm done. <laughs> then 2019, I started again to write. When did I pass my learners? See, I don't even remember. But I passed it 2019. One black and two yellow. Because I got my license 2020. Huh? I got my license 2019, yes. I got my license 2019, December. Because I remember I didn't want my learners to expire. That was my biggest fear because I got my learners so hard. Like, it was such a struggle to get my learners. So I didn't want to risk it to expire. One black, one blue, one black. So I'm introducing a new color here. So... <laughs> that's what happened again so i only passed my learner's test learner's license on my fifth 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 i think fifth the fifth test it was the beginning of 2019 yes mm -hmm. that's when i passed it yo i shame it was it was the longest journey ever <laughs> so three white beads and then came starting the practical learning your clutch learning to break steep and then you have poles and then you have to make sure you don't bump your poles ooh hey there was a time i I bumped into a pole. I did not sleep that night thinking, what did I do wrong? What did I do wrong? <laughs> so at this diamond, we're going to meet until we get to this point. I pushed until I got to this point. Also, and I think by bumping the pole, it was during the driving school process experience. So I would make mistakes, but I was there for a long time. I initially, most everyone that I came, that I started with during the, dri the driving school, they went and did their license and then they passed the license test and then they passed. But I kept staying because... I was owing the driving school money, <laughs> so I had to con so I had to continue practicing up until the funds were right until I could have enough money to go for to book and all those things that were needed. Ah, huh? for my driver's test, I I only went once. Shem. my first attempt. Is the one that I passed. That was my 
driver's license test. But for my learner's license test, I, it took me five attempts. <laughs> it took me five attempts. Two blue and one black. Yo, but I getting a license, yo. Yeah, ne. You also need a certain, you need an extra heart. You need an extra liver. You need an extra, extra feelings. You have to stock up on, on emotions because, sure, that thing is very stressful. Two red and one black. So this is where we're going to stop for today. Let me try to see if I can get my camera to show the pro like the entire pattern fully. There we go. Look how gorgeous yo we pushed. This is amazing. I'm holding it with my other hand, that's why it's not steady. Okay, so this is where we're going to stop for today. Thank you so much for watching Queens and Kings. I love you guys so much. Remember to love yourself. Remember to respect yourself. And remember to have fun. If you love the content that you're seeing, please consider subscribing. This is amazing. So we're going to take that weekend break that we agreed on. Again. <laughs> and then we'll be back the next week. Continuing with our pattern. Bye.